All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K21, man, we got to talk about some next-gen things, man. It's, there's some next-gen data that's already been out there, some next-gen gameplay, stuff like that. I want to look at that again, revisit it, and break it down, because I did it in another video, but it was an extremely long video, and so I think a lot of you guys may have missed that. So we're going to talk about that. Uh, we're going to talk about your boy Dime saying that he's making a return to the streaming and, uh, you know, content creation thing. And last but not least, we got Mo Buckets taking the L to Neon last night and having an absolute meltdown. And who, who don't love Mo, man? But anyway, man, look. If you don't do nothing else for me, please like the video. It helps people get the notifications and it helps get the video out there to those guys that might wanna that, that might wanna see the video, but they, they don't even know it's out there. Sometimes the notifications don't go out. People don't even know I put up a video for three or four days and they come and hit me up later saying, hey Jay, you didn't put out a video, but I just saw this from last week. So if y'all could do that for me, that would be awesome. And other than that, we gonna get right into the video. Nino! You make it to C25, that's OG status. I was told you could be anything, just don't be average. Down bad, flat pipes, that shit made me sad. Start hustling non stop, don't plan on breaking that head. All right, so right out the shoot, man, we've got NBA 2K21. And obviously, we got the stuff, you know, with the leak stuff. The one thing that I wanted to talk about real quick is the mechanics like look at how much smoother these mechanics look now this was something that was put in the game so that we could see what they wanted to show here was you know uh how you how when you snatch the stick down you shoot with the shot stick if you snatch the stick down then it'll give you less of an arc if than if you pull it down softly but what i want to talk about is look at how fluid steph curry's motion is you see how fluid the motion is and how he goes up and comes back down it doesn't seem like there's a hitch in it. it this actually looks like it's something that's like a 60 frame per second shot but even though it's 60 frames per second it looks like like in the current gen right it looks like that this same shot is delivered in like 30 frames like half the frame so it's like you don't it's almost like when he gets to the top of his jump in in current gen he just falls right back to the floor there's not it's, it's not smooth or anything like that let me let me let me let me understand y'all what i mean what i mean real quick uh we're gonna jump over to some to, to uh to current gen right quick and uh for, for whatever reason they got this they've got this uh update required but take a look at this when i take my shot in this current gen game right you see how he just how it's not as fluid do you if you if you understand what i'm saying it's like he's taking the shot but it, it's it's not it, when he gets to the top of his jump right it's just not as fluid as how this is this seems like it's fluid all the way through it's not like he's just going to the top and just falling to the floor it's like he's actually ascending and then descending so i thought that was dope i thought there was something that's worth pointing out um also the fact that you can control your arc that's like one of those things where i feel like it's gonna probably be a little bit of overkill but hey if that's if 2k likes it i love it man also you know we want to look at look at look just looking at the james harden joint man look this is something that a lot of people probably miss you see how he's starting out slow and then he's speeding up and then he makes his move like that's something that they talked about too in the blogs that you're going to be able to control not only the fact that you are size up dribbling but you're going to be able to control the speed of the size up dribble so you like i i, I don't know if you like right now everybody dribbles at one speed there's no change of there's no change of gears or anything like that. And I think that that's something that basketball is really all about. And that's what they said in the blog too. But the fact that you can see that he begins, this is what they're trying to point out right here is that he's starting slowly and then he just, he's he's speeding up and, and using that change of pace, change of dribble, whatever you want to call it, the change of pace dribble in order to, uh, to get his opponent. Now, obviously it's a video game and uh, that's just the robot that he's going against. So, you know, it is what it is. Uh, also, we've got, just the player models, man. Look at Steph Curry this gen versus Steph Curry next gen. There's gonna be so much more depth. Like this one almost seems like he's just painted together almost a cartoon. This one looks like it's just got more, so much more color depth and uh, you know, so much more everything else to it. Like, I, I don't even know how to really explain it, but it's just like the depth. Depth is the only thing that I can say. You see the reflection off his forehead. You see all this stuff right here, man. Him with the mouthpiece out. This is old gene. And then this is this is what we're gonna be looking at now. Now, I don't know what, the, I don't know what's gonna happen with that motion blur and stuff like that that we saw in the, uh, the you know, that we saw in the video, but uh, I, I don't know what it's gonna really run at either. But the main thing is just looking at this stuff 
it is jaw dropping it is eye popping and we always know that the greatest leap is all you know two next gen is always when we first start like look right here look how look at how zion is looking how flat his face is how flat the colors are how flat everything is and then right here we have so much more depth to where we can even see the veins in his neck we can see the sweat running down and all of that stuff like we thought that current gen was was really good and this 2k20 like they made strides from 2k21 um to to this 2k21 I mean, to, from 2K20 to 2K21, they made some great strides, man. But it's just like, with next gen, it just has me excited to the point where I'm just like, I'm I'm hoping that the game plays as good as it looks. Because all, all of us know that the game is gonna look fantastic. It's gonna play, fan I mean, it's gonna look fantastic. It's gonna be a fantastic, um, I, I, what do you call it? It's gonna be great eye candy. But how is it going to be as far as gameplay? That's what I want to know because we know that live is always the leader in how things look. Live is always one of the best games in it looks great. The art team is awesome. The the courts are awesome. Everything is awesome about live until you start playing and then that play of motion just takes you completely out of the game. So we know that 2K has the mo the best mocap and the best all of that stuff. But how are they going to put it together to make this game play? Do we, or do we think it's going to put it together to make it play a little bit better than this game? Is it going to play worse than this game? How is it going to play compared to this one? I'm not going to lie. The gameplay at the core of 2K21, I feel like it's really good. But, you know, it has some things that need to be ironed out, worked out, and all that good stuff. Up next, man, we got my boy Don. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Do y'all think the gameplay and all that is pretty good in 2K? And there's some things that just need to be worked out? Or do y'all think it's just terrible and, and they just need to scrap the game? I don't know. But uh, let me know what you think down in the comment section. Up next, we got your boy Dimes. Dimes says he's getting ready. Look, I'm just going to read what exactly what he says. Getting getting everything I need to stream to be back and um and to be back and even better stopping by walmart and best buy tomorrow to grab the rest of what i need then we'll be back look man your boy dimes look they done brought ankle breakers back now we got dimes back look i i don't know if you guys watch any of the uh of the comp pro-am stuff anything any of that stuff like that i do i always find it very entertaining i think that it's awesome when you know when those guys go out there and they're competing at the highest level of what we call uh you know a lot of it is cheesing but but not everybody just straight cheese i watch see it see it and his guys and all of that they're not just cheesing they're not just screening and screening away and doing this they're actually playing some something that actually resembles real basketball so when you got guys that actually play the game and you know it actually resembles real basketball and as much as we can i definitely appreciate it so dimes coming back i watched bear the beast i watched uh you know and all of the island game i watch all those guys man watch um watch uh, the eyeball guys play all that stuff like i said i like watching those guys compete at the highest level i also like watching those guys cheese each other and just see like like who gets mad first because you know the cheese is inevitable so you know i, I just like watching that too so let me know what y'all think down in the comment section do you guys think that um do you guys watch pro-am comp pro-am and stuff like that or do you just stick to like the park and the, and the uh stage and stuff like that like i said this is good news for me because i like to see things that i can steal from guys playing at a higher level than me and then i can bring it i can bring it to the park just like the pick and roll defense i learned that by watching lag out and the guys of the league of shadows six six seven and all that that you can actually stay behind the stay behind your guy while he's getting screened shadow 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 and then when he finally gets hit hard by a screen that's when you come up and and you know you you, you just have to learn the animations it's good to watch to learn animations and all this stuff man so that's what i watch those guys for but uh you know let me know what you guys think down in the comment section and last but not least we got your boy mo buckets man mo can't mess with mo man look man mo had a um he had a uh let me move myself right here mo had a wager last night he played against neon he lost and he had one of the greatest eruptions of all time let's just listen to my guy mo buckets as he said no let's preface this first in the wager what happened was he felt like his point guard was just selling him and uh i can't i can't say he said he's like he just felt like his point guard was nervous i watched the whole thing and i was just like bro dude is not only nervous but 
he just not hitting more on the slips at the right time and stuff. Cause like he was just so afraid that the guy was falling. You know when you first slip, if you there's a there's a little window in there that you can throw the ball and the other center can't do anything about it. If you wait too long, then he's gonna steal it. Mo was slipping, he wasn't hitting him on the slips. Dude wasn't taking the shots. I have to agree with Mo on this one, man. Like I ain't saying Mo the greatest, but he's not wrong in this situation. But let's just listen to what Mo had to say in one of the most epic meltdowns of all time. Roll the footage. Damn, I lost the fucking game! <laughs> Fuck, man! How did you mean to tell me this motherfucker was not fucking scared? He was scared of fucking play the fucking Ranger, Hollywood! Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I came out scared. I cannot lie. That boy, that boy was tripling when he shot that three. Cool, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Cool Bob. He was fucking scared the whole fucking way. Motherfucker was fucking scared, bro. Hell fucking yeah, bro. <laughs> Can't mess with Mo. Uh, this is why, this is why I tell you there's levels to this basketball shit. There's levels to this shit, Hollywood. You don't understand this yeah. fucking levels. We just gave a fucking fun in front of no fucking body. <laughs> Oh my god. There's no way I lose that wager like the hell fucking no, bro. And that's pretty much what we got for this. <laughs> Mo was not happy after that wager. Like I said, though, this is why I don't wager. This is why I don't bet. Like, I know it's cool. It's good for content and stuff like that. But to me, man, it's, it's, just, it's just a waste, man. Because I... I know if I play a wage and I feel like I'm playing as, as well as I possibly can, and then the person I'm playing with is just selling, I know I'm gonna have a problem with that person. So I just keep myself out of the whole situation. Because you know, in 2K, we never know what the other person can make us do. Like, like, in, like say here, you got somebody that plays perfectly fine and kills competition, but when something's on the line, it's a little bit different, my boy. Not even gonna lie. I seen even some of the best players fold when their cash was on the line. So, you know, it is what it is, man. Like I said, I just keep myself out of the situation and watch from the sideline. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Would y'all ever wager or are you perfectly content with watching people wager and get frustrated? And that, like I said, this is the reason I keep myself out of that. And last but not least, like I said, let me know what y'all think. And the same thing with the Composite Pro-Am scene. I watch it, but I can't do it because like when it comes down to it, people don't want to lose and they're just gonna cheese. And I really get mad when people cheese me over and over in any video game. Like in, back in the day, what? let me know what y'all used to do back in the day. If you made it this far, let me know what you used to do back in the day when somebody used to cheese you in the video game. We used to just slap the control out their hand. That's what we used to do. Be like, bro, come on, man. You can't just keep running the same play over and over, man. Come on, man. Come man, man, come on, man. You know, just slap the control out their hand or something like that, bro. We just not about to do it. But uh, you know, let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. And I'm gonna holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Guys, please.